Tonight, we're also continuing to follow what is happening to the old Star Gazette building in Elmira. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dubina joining us live in the studio. Nick, it appears at least one county official isn't happy with the building's former owner. Good evening, Deja. That's right. County Executive Chris Moss says the former Star Gazette building was left a mess. At a meeting of the Shimon County Industrial Development Agency, we learned the building needs asbestos removal. Now, asbestos can be toxic to breathe. As we reported in June, the new owners started taking care of landscaping on the property that hadn't been done in years. The Star Gazette moved out in 2015. The Gannett Media Company, which owns USA Today, sold the building in 2020. It was sold again two years later. A state grant will be used to fix up the property. A person who helped write that grant says it will be for $300,000. Now, Shimon County Executive Chris Moss says Gannett left the building in such bad shape, asbestos may not be its only problem. What would you like to see happen there? Do you have any thoughts on the Star Gazette's future? Uh, I'd like to see Gannett come in and clean up the mess that they left there. That's what I would like to see, to be honest with you. I mean, you talk about asbestos abatement, but uh, I'm not sure of phase two from uh, the Department of Environmental Conservation would even pass there with the type of business that was there before. Look, we want all kinds of economic development we can get in Shimon County, but we also need to do it safely. We don't need to find out down the road that we shouldn't let a business come into a, a location or an area. They printed newspapers, so obviously there's some issues there to make sure that the ground underneath the building is safe and so forth. No word on how long the asbestos removal will take. We reached out to Gannett to ask about the condition the building was left in when it was sold. We did not hear back before air. Now, in 2019, a brewery showed interest in buying the property, but passed. In 2020, a different owner said he would turn it into a gallery space for artists. That plan never materialized. The current owner told us he is conducting a market survey to determine the best use for the property. Deja.